for showing happy and healthy people tear marks here so yes coronavirus officially it is hit and yes it is affecting some of us martial artists pretty bad now the reason being is in a world of now social distancing the last thing people want is to be on top of each other and breathing no matter how much you hand wash or sanitize or you have a shower being on top of another person breathing in, into each other's ear and sharing bodily fluids is not going to be want to really prevent this from happening or from spreading so even though it is proven that the coronavirus cannot spread through sweat it does spread through other bodily fluids and in as you know from jujitsu you don't really have much control over what goes where and what happens during the rolls. In Australia we are not on official lockdown yet but we have been encouraged to stay inside as much as possible and a lot of people have already started to lose their hours or lose their jobs or have now been working from home but all the jiu-jitsu gyms are shut so finally you barely even get you barely even work but you can't train anyway so here is five little tips to actually improve your jiu-jitsu over this time even though you're pretty much locked inside and even though you cannot go full contact contact with someone but unless you have an awesome roommate that you can wrestle with and you do have mass and you trust that they do not have coronavirus and you can actually still drill at home you guys are pretty goddamn lucky but for the rest of us we need to figure out how to improve our game even though we can't actually roll okay number one way to improve your jiu-jitsu during this lockdown or coronavirus period is actually one that we might not all want to hear and that is our bodies finally get a chance to rest if you're like me then you're probably covered in injuries or niggles or pain and more than likely ignore most of the time when you do need to actually rest your shoulder aches your back aches your neck aches and this is actually the perfect time to reset your body. How many times does the average person actually take a week, two weeks, a month of training? Our body actually gets the time to breathe and recover and actually maybe repair some of those injuries that have been around for quite some time. Number two is you can actually start doing things that's going to benefit your game other than jujitsu. And I mean yoga, I mean stretching, and I mean some mobility drills. There's some awesome Instagram pages and awesome YouTube channels on some at-home mobility movement things. There's also just starting a yoga challenge. There's some amazing yoga pages online and it's undeniable that increasing your flexibility is really beneficial for jiu-jitsu not only that it's going to help with some of those injuries it's going to help prevent a lot of injuries in the future and you never know your body actually might thank you so much for this little yoga challenge that you take your time out to do now and we all know as jiu-jitsu people we all say we're going to start doing more yoga we're going to start doing more stretching and we more than likely don't actually do it so this is actually a chance to start doing that so i recommend actually setting a yoga challenge or a stretching challenge two ways to do this either one you find a yoga challenge online and you actually start committing to it every day it's a 20 minute to an hour yoga set challenge or you have a tv show or a movie that you really want to watch and you make it that every time you watch that tv show or that movie series or you watch a movie that is your stretching time that is you on the floor in front of the tv with a yoga mat and actually working on your flexibility and actually helping release some of those injuries. Number three is movement drills. Now some epic YouTube pages on Jiu Jitsu movements. If you've got some couple mats at home, even better, or even just yoga mats, just starting to get those hips a little bit looser. This could be some basic like knee on the belly drill. This could be some bear crawls. This could be some hip escapes. Anything that actually translates perfectly over to your jiu-jitsu training can definitely benefit now and also you might even find when you get back on the mat even though you might feel a little bit rusty or a little bit out of it or like you kind of forget what to do in the sport your body will be moving so much better than it did before you stopped training. Number four is study. Time to actually study and binge watch jiu-jitsu if you don't already do this enough already. Now uh, right now everyone is binge watching Netflix and movies and TV shows but why not take that time to actually start studying some Jiu Jitsu start looking at some matches from years ago as you know with YouTube once you kind of start watching one thing your whole feed becomes Jiu Jitsu which is probably why you started watching me so I recommend actually just start watching more and more Jiu Jitsu and this uh, this will also help your game obviously you can't not learn from just watching and number five one of the top things you can do right now for your jiu-jitsu is conditioning and stay conditioned this is not an excuse to get lazy this is not an excuse to just sit on the couch a couple ways you can do this one depending on your lockdown rules you can actually start running and jogging every day start doing sprints find some stairs near you find a hill if your gyms are still open go to your gyms if your gyms are not open 
find to see if there's a little studio gym that is open. Some micro studios might still be open in certain places as opposed to the big commercial gyms that are shut down even though Jitsu gym is shut down. So I bet you a lot of these people will give you good little deals for you to start training there in this time. Uh, if not, hit training at home, um, trying to do some body weight stuff. Find a way to kind of keep your heart rate going up and don't just stay lazy sitting on the couch. Try and get as fit as possible as you can in this time. And in saying that, if you do end up getting the coronavirus, the fitter and healthier you are, the better you are going to be able to deal with it. But also on top of saying that, if you are sick at the moment, rest. Don't, don't even bother trying to go for sprints and run and improve your juicy game. This is the time for you to rest and recover and not spread it to anyone else. Okay, so those are my five tips of how you can kind of improve your jujitsu in this awkward time that's really uncomfortable and it's not a good time to have to be stuck inside when the weather is absolutely gorgeous outside and you've been focusing on jujitsu this hard and now you have to pretty much stop. But there's a few awesome things that you can do and your body is actually probably going to thank you for this time off and a little bit of rest is always really good. So thank you guys so much for checking out my video. So if there's anything I miss or any points or any tips of what you should do to kind of benefit your jiu-jitsu in this time, let me know in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up. I know I talk really fast and if you don't understand me, uh, let me know in the comments below and I might try and like write subtitles or try and translate. I do talk fast. Now, I am Australian, but I do have a little bit of an accent. For those that don't know, I actually grew up in China as a teenager. This is a super awkward time. A lot of people were hating on the Chinese and stuff during this time, but I spent seven years. I spent about a third of my life growing up in China. My whole teenage life was there. I was there during the mad cow disease, the bird flu, and the SARS as well. So I have kind of experienced a lot of these things going on first hand over there and it's definitely a different perspective from seeing it as a third person stepping back in Australia and watching China go through this alone. So thank you guys for checking out my video again and uh, thumbs up, subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video and keep training. Jiu Jitsu will be there. We'll be back on the mat soon. So don't give up. <laughs>